Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Tech Minute. Let's get started. The coronavirus pandemic has driven a rise of backyard pool sales, but this surge in demand also increases the risk of drowning. A new report from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission states that the number of children under 15 dying by drowning has been increasing, and drowning remains the leading cause of accidental death in children under 4. Plus, the majority of these deaths occur in June, July, and August, mostly in backyard pools. But the Coral Manta 3000 aims to help prevent these tragedies. Also known as the seat belt for your pool, the Coral Manta is the first and only artificial intelligence-based drowning prevention system. While existing pool safety devices such as fences, pool covers, or mechanical alarms merely attempt to prevent unauthorized access to the pool, they become useless when someone is already in the pool. In contrast, the Coral Manta uses AI software and an underwater video camera to analyze, detect, and track all people in the pool 24-7 by utilizing an advanced algorithm to monitor and alert upon any entrance to the water, and more importantly, upon detection of risk of drowning. To learn more about the world's leading pool safety device and watch a demo of the product in action, check out the links below. Next, NASA's water-seeking robotic moon rover just booked a $199.5 million ride to the moon's south pole. NASA selected Astrobotic of Pittsburgh to deliver the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, known as Viper, to the moon in 2023. As part of the award, Astrobotic is responsible for end-to-end -end services for delivery of Viper, including integration with its Griffin lander, launch from Earth, and landing on the moon. The nearly 1,000-pound rover will collect data, including the location and concentration of ice, that will be used to create the first global water resource maps of the moon. Its survey will help determine locations where water and other resources can be harvested to sustain long-term robotic and human presence on the moon as part of the Artemis program. You can find out more information about NASA's commercial lunar payload services initiatives by visiting the link below. Next. While a few smartphone-based applications of augmented reality have become wildly popular, the adoption of AR goggles has long lagged behind the hype. However, in several industries, augmented reality has transitioned from intriguing experiment to everyday tool during the pandemic, widening the industrial adoption of a technology that many argue hasn't measured up to its promise in the consumer market. The technology, which imposes digital images onto views of the real world, allows specialists and managers to show colleagues what to do without standing shoulder to shoulder with them. Like at Intel, for example, an engineering manager was able to repair a faulty machine at the corporation's chip plant in Arizona. The plant's engineering expert, who was stuck in Germany due to COVID-19 flight restrictions, was able to peer through his colleague's AR goggles and walk him through the process of recalibrating the machine, ultimately allowing production to be completed on schedule. This single example shows the true value of augmented reality, especially in a world where business travel and direct human interaction are restricted and likely will be for a while. To discover additional examples of how significant AR technology has been throughout the pandemic, check out the Wall Street Journal article below. Finally, we want to give a huge shout out to former guest of the show, Andy Goldstrom, on the new release of his book, Grow Like a Pro, Lessons from a Two-Time Inc. 500 Executive. And check out this praise from Michael Coles, co-founder of Great American Cookies and former CEO of Caribou Coffee. Andy's ability to focus on what not to do is a unique approach to thinking about starting or running your business. I have had the opportunity to see Andy in action. He brings passion and experience and has been able to put that into his very engaging book. Do yourself a favor and read the book. You don't want to be an example of what not to do. Pretty strong endorsement there. Congrats again, Andy. Thank you all so much for watching the Weekly Tech Minute. We appreciate your likes, your comments, your shares, your engagement, and please stay safe. Talk to you soon.